I'm going to start entering, let's say for example, in uh, the X column, the mass, 0 0.1024, scroll down, 0 0.385, scroll down, 0 0.1436, Zero point zero three four seven zero point zero four seven two and zero point zero eight three four and finally 0 0.2115 okay I'm going to do the same now with the y values and that one I have 1 4 1 1.5 um, 0 0.5 1 and 2 hmm. There's another 0 0.5. Go back here. 0 0.5, 1, and then 2. Yep. Now, of course, as physicists, we are not supposed to present data and, and graphs in this form. This is not good. This is ugly, and this is ugly right here. We don't do math, x and y. No. We're going to try to put something that makes sense. So I double clicked on the x. It gave me this window. I am going to type the word mass and the symbol we use for that is little m and the unit is kg kilogram and then we click done. Notice here how when you do that it automatically updates the x-axis here so it should show the label and the unit. Again let's do the same thing for the y. We double click and in the Y we're supposed to have the weight and it's supposed to be we'll use W to uh, you know as the short name for that and the unit is capital N for Newton and when we do that watch how the Y here changed into this so far so good so we took care of the table so now it looks really nice we have labels, we have units, we have labels, we have units. Now, this is ugly right here, so we need to take care of that. So we're going to double click on the window here. A graph should have a title. So in this case, for example, since my son Omar was the one who collected the data, so we're going to call it Omar's uh, data plot or something like that. Okay. And... Um, it is good to have the point protectors. Connecting points, I recommend that you don't do that. I joke always by telling people we're not in sixth grade anymore. And then we go to the axes options. Instead of auto scale larger, we choose auto scale. And instead of um, manual, we'll put auto scale as well here. And then we click OK. Look at the beauty now. See, here are the points. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven of them. The pattern these seem to be following is a linear one. And consequently, we go up here where it says linear fit. And we click on that. That would give us a nice graph. Um, this is kind of hard to see. So we will double click on it. So we would change, you know, the appearance here, and we just make it a little bit bigger so people can see it easily. And we could be fancy, we could make it red, for instance. And this is really not required, but just in case you wanted to fancy it up a little bit. So here we go and now it's looking really nice as you can see we've got a slope of 9.999 newton per kilogram 
Armor did a real good job in this case. Uh, as you can see, that's the slope. The intercept was 0 0.06048 newtons. I think with this, all you have to do now is first save your work.